people of the world what is going on well i had quite a day today it's thursday evening it's about six o'clock right now i'm about to eat dinner i just got out of the shower and well i am sunburned really badly so what happened today was well i walked about um approximately 10 miles literally not even kidding Played some basketball at the park too, so I'm I'm pretty exhausted right now. I walked to my dad's, which is about three miles away. Then I walked home to my mom's, another three miles, so that's like six. I walked to the park, a local park, like two miles, and then I walked back home, another two miles. While I was at the park, um, I played basketball. And I felt myself getting burned. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Matt. Like you know, what are you thinking? You're you know you're whiter than Casper the Ghost. Like you know. Because I am. I'm extremely, extremely white. I'm so fair. It's like, I'm so used to getting burned. I've gotten burned. It must be hundreds of times by now. But, this is a pretty bad burn. So, I'm going to try to show you guys what the burn looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know if it's showing up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. I mean... See that? Uh, and that's not even the worst part. My neck is the worst part of this whole thing right now. My neck is like on fire right now. You can see my neck kind of in the shadows there. It hurts. It hurts. It's like... It's bad. So, I got burned. Got dark there for a second. I got burned pretty bad. So all that happened today, and um, well, I'm exhausted. An update on my dad. So um, apparently he does not have a fever right now. Um, it's late in the day, so this is a good sign. He did get retested for COVID today. The results should be back sometime tomorrow afternoon. I will let you guys know the results in this video, obviously. He may need to get tested a third time because sometimes it takes three times just to come up positive for this virus it's insane so i will let you guys know what happens with that as for tomorrow so we got a big day planned tomorrow i gotta get up around like well probably like 6 30 in the morning honestly i'm gonna help my mom go shopping we're gonna hit walmart and shop right we're going to try to get there like 7.30, 8 o'clock. It's going to be like 86 tomorrow. It's going to be the warmest it's been in like over seven months now. Well, maybe not that long. Eh, maybe six months. It's been a long time since it's been like 85, 86 degrees. There is a threat of severe storms tomorrow. And the big news. We are going storm chasing in another state. This will be our first storm out of state storm chase. There is an enhanced risk right now of severe weather in portions of Northeast PA, Southwest New York, and um, Southern New York and Northern New Jersey. So we're probably gonna be going out of state. Hopefully we get to see a really good storm. Tornado threat is actually there tomorrow as well, damaging wind gusts. It looks like these storms can be pretty nasty. Looking forward to that, honestly, tomorrow. And, yeah, I will be taking you guys with me. But, yeah. <sighs> that was a lot to say, but I will pick this up tomorrow. Alright, guys, so it's about 11 in the morning right now. Basically, what we got going on... <coughs> <coughs> Tickle in my throat there. Um, so, I'm going to be heading north. I'm going to be going into northeastern PA. Not exactly sure where. I don't have a set location. I'll be filming a little bit on the way. We don't have any storms yet. Allentown, PA actually, and as you see on the sides, these beautiful, beautiful mountains here, look at this terrain, man, 
my ears have been popping this is just beautiful and you know I've never been up here so you know I don't know exactly you know I know what the terrain's like and everything but you know this is just incredibly beautiful I, and look at this like I would move out here in a second like not even no questions asked like it's just such a beautiful beautiful you know not only am I going out here for storm chasing but I'm also coming out here because of how beautiful the terrain is out here I mean it's just I just love it all right guys so we are about like 15 miles from Scranton and that is where we are going to be staying we're going to be staying in Scranton um, and it, it's just a really it's like a sweet spot I believe um, for the storms we have leverage if we need to go a little bit more north we can you know there's just a lot of leverage there um, easy accessibility obviously <clears throat> with the highway as it is it's very straightforward not a lot of traffic obviously because of COVID but um, yeah it's beautiful out here guys uh, if you have not been up here to the Poconos which is where I am now it's gorgeous I would definitely recommend doing it but we will be in Scranton home of Dunder Mifflin the office so we'll be doing that soon look at those beautiful beautiful mountains beautiful out here guys I might just wind up moving here I'm telling you I swear like this is just you know it's really special up here guys it really is all electronic tolling keep moving through the toll plaza we will bill you so this is what COVID-19 has done some really cool rocks here Two miles. We're almost there. 70. I'm only going like 55. But we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So I am in Scranton right now. Kind of very hilly here. So basically, um, I just pumped my own gas for, I'm pretty sure, the first time spill a little gasoline on my leg so I'm a rookie um, I needed a couple people to help me but you know it's not that difficult it's really kind of easy so all right guys so just wanted to film this incredible view for you um, still near Scranton right now um, we're just trying to position ourselves a little bit better to get full scope of the storm but man this is a steep hill down the mountains here this is just absolutely crazy beautiful terrain over here I mean I love 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 it over here all right guys so I'm just chilling right here in a random parking lot but um I got an update from my dad about an hour ago the second COVID test was negative it becomes interesting now because his symptoms are decreasing what they may want to do is test him a third time if his muscle pain lingers and sometimes third times a charm for this uh, COVID-19 you know you never do know
So, um, I am still in Scranton right now. So right now we are at a really nice spot. We're crystal, like, crazy good view. Like, I mean, like, look at that. Like, we're at such a good view right now. All right, guys, so something really cool is happening right now. Um... The rain is actually walking up to us. So in the mountains in the distance, what you can see is that the rain is walking up. You see that haziness? That's rain. Those are rain curtains. And it's starting to rain here now. And the rain's getting heavier. I just think it's really interesting how the rain, you could see it over a a view like this you could really really see how the rain can just walk up to you So one thing with this storm, um, it looks like it is strengthening. There is even a shelf cloud. I don't know how well you guys can. There it is. Look at that. Look at that shelf cloud there forming. The storms intensifying. Hopefully we'll get to see some cloud to ground lightning. There you go. Up oh, there's some lightning. Hopefully I'll get to see cloud to ground now. There it is. The shelf cloud is forming. Storm's intensifying. So we're getting hit with a severe thunderstorm right now, um, or about to go severe anyway. It's just coming down so intense right now. Um, the gusts are upwards of 50 miles an hour, um, especially because we're on an elevated surface. We're in a higher elevation right now. Looking out for some hail. I don't see any hail, um, but that is a possibility. Because, um, this is a 
really, really uh, intense line that has just formed. I'll show you the radar, actually. Um, this is a bit of a surprise, although I saw it coming with the shelf cloud forming. Um, these storms are pretty intense. But here we are. Oh, crap. So, we're in Scranton, and pretty um, distinct feature developing here, um, creating these very, very intense rainfall amounts, and there was some lightning as well. Uh, this is a pretty hefty storm right now. Alright, so I'm really angry right now because I just missed filming a bolt. I saw the bolt, like, right at the time it struck. Uh, the storm is intensifying even as it passes us, so um, there's going to be more cloud to ground lightning with this. And this really sucks that I just missed it. Driving through some really heavy rain right now. This is a beautiful, beautiful looking storm structure. Probably it'll strengthen later. Right now it's just blinding rain. So we bluffed Scranton um, and we just passed the Poconos. So slowly working our way home. So we are on our way home now. It was a adventure filled day today and um, glad you guys got to see some of this Scranton adventure. There may be a couple more adventures this summer with storm chasing. Only it will probably be in a rental car because my car is older and uh, doesn't need the mileage on it like this so probably going to do rental cars any other time I go this far so yeah here I'll film on the way home well situation um, I'm in Philly and I'm lost and it's nighttime so help all right guys so quick update asked an officer and he uh, yeah he showed me pretty quickly I mean you know I have an ability to follow directions a little bit at least all right I'm ready to go home now guys I'm seriously ready to go home if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notice, those post notifications to get notified every time I upload. And as always, be sure to follow my Instagram, at MattDeAngelis, and the music. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.